Hello everybody, this is Derek Machaney from Breeze Data Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to cut and crimp Cat5e cable. For an example here, I have a cable that is already complete, has both ends on it, and it's a cable that's ready to go. Now, if you want to cut a custom cable, say you want to network your home or your small business, um, then this is where you need to uh, learn how to do this. See that I've got two ends right here, both are stripped ends, nothing's on them. Now what we're going to do is I want to show you how to, uh, to basically create a full Cat5 cable. Uh, for educational purposes only, I want to cut this so that way you kind of get an idea of what you do whenever you cut. don't have to be perfect, you just need to cut the end off to where uh, your wires are showing. And then here I use a, uh, a basic wire cutter. Um, it's what I use to strip my uh, my cable in half. Do it about an inch to a, a half inch or one and a half inch at the very end. Move over a couple of times. Be careful when you do it. You may want to make sure that you do not damage any of the inside cabling as your cable may not possibly work. And then there's these little fibers on here. Just cut these little fibers off. You can also use that to uh, cut down your cable if you have to. Um, spread your cables out as needed. And then uh, come in, take your cables apart. Once you do that, you got all your cables uh, switched out like they're supposed to. The way the diagram on these go is you're going to go white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown, and then brown. And that's what you will use to, uh, to build your diagram. Then you straighten them out very good or as good as you possibly can. That way you get a solid stick on it all. Move it forward, sidewards, whatever you got to do to make your cable straight. And then just you may have to go back in and kind of reset everything, which is no big deal. And then boom. you got your ends and they're solid. See that? Now what you want to do is come in. Leave about a half inch at the very end available to uh, stick inside your, uh, your RJ45 connection. Now as you see, I've got a little bit too much there. I'm just going to cut a little bit more off. And boom. All set and ready to go. Now with my RJ45 uh, connection uh, ends, which are these right here, I want to take the cable, the cabling in, boom. Now make sure when you do it you have everything lined correctly uh, or else your cables inside will um, kind of bend and, and so forth and you won't be able to do it. And make sure all your uh, your coppers are showing. That way, that kind of tells you that everything is meeting like it's supposed to. Um, with the crimp tool, here uh, I use the AP. It's also an RJ45 uh, crimping uh, crimping area. Um, then of course you got your RJ11 crimping area, which is like for your uh, your land phones, like your home phones. You want to use the uh, RJ45. All you got to do is take your cable, put it in. Boom. All you got to do on that and your cable is uh, complete and ready to go. You will repeat the same method on the other end and you will have a full Cat5 uh, Cat e or Cat5 cable. It'll look just like that. Thank you for tuning in. Breeze Data. Have a wonderful day.